Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the CAPTCHA in HTML website in 2024. So today, we're going to explore how to add the CAPTCHA, which is completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and human support to your HTML website, enhancing security against automated bots and spam. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to integrate CAPTCHA with your HTML website in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser or first thing first, or the first step is to choose first of all a CAPTCHA service provider that offers easy integrations with HTML's websites. Some popular options include Google reCAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, which is a unit CAPTCHA, and Solve Media. You can visit the website of your chosen provider and sign up for an account. For me, I'll open those three together, and of course, for you, choose whatever suits you and use it for your CAPTCHA provider. So, first, is Google reCAPTCHA. Second is HCAPTCHA. And third is Solve Media. So we have reCAPTCHA of Google, HCAPTCHA, and Solve Media. So as you can see in here for Google reCAPTCHA, you can get started with Enterprise, first of all, if you want to, then we have some V3 admin console, uh, console and V3 documentation, use cases for scrapping, fraudulent transactions, account takeovers, authentic accounts, full spouse and money laundering. Timeline, as you can see, you can see the V2 was in 2014, this one 2018, which is V3 and enterprise in 2020. So you can see a video on how to migrates that if you want to and for v3 they give you here the features that comes with it so proven customer friendly customizable adaptive comprehensive uh, enterprise ready customer lead pricing as an example so for both three of them free to 1 million assessments per month for more information for this one you can see price and stuff support no support for those two and for this one, resources, you can watch the video and you can watch documentation of every one of them. This is for reCAPTCHA by Google. For HCAPTCHA, as an example, you can log into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to click on sign up into your new account as an example. And as you can see, they have a free plan if you want to use it. So click on get started. And what do you want to do for individuals or for online servers? Add CAPTCHA to my website or app. So as an example, I'll just choose this. Free or pro. And while it's open, as you can see, we have Solve Media also, which is a gr uh, really great advertising. So they'll just show you that here they are given a CAPTCHA, as you can see. So you can go again and log in into an account if you have an account. If you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account for them. So in the meanwhile, wait. Okay, I thought like there's an internet problem. It's fine. So here you'll have to enter your information if you have one. If you don't, also, of course, you have to sign up. Better CAPTCHA, mobile, and etc. for publishers. So click on sign up to sign up into a new account. Fill up all those informations and you will have your CAPTCHA account. So example, I'll just use for me H CAPTCHA in this video. Why not? Let's just use it for you. Of course, you can choose whatever suits you. Here, I'll just go and sign up with Google as an example, so I don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into my account. You can for you use GitHub or Google, whatever suits you, or enter everything manually. As you can see, they can even have their CAPTCHA, which is I am a human. So for me, I'll just go and click on sign up with Google, choose my account, and here, continue and give it access to my Google account. So it's going to get email, name, and the necessary information. So what you will have to do, first of all, as you can see, to use a CAPTCHA, you'll need a site key and your account secret. Site keys are used to uniquely identify your sites, where already generated your first one. As you can see this one, you can specify CAPTCHA related settings per site key, such as challenge difficulty and preferred contents based on site topics. A secret is used to verify your CAPTCHA H account. So you'll have to generate a new one, and the secret is used to 
uh, used, of course, by your server to verify the CAPTCHA passcode return when a user successfully completes in CAPTCHA. One secret is used for all the side keys. In installation, you use one of our pre-made plugins or guides for easy setup. WordPress, Drupal, PHP, Android, Node.js, React.js, and many more. You can, of course, check many more from here. You can check everything that they have in here if you want to. So as you can see, they have everything. And if you like to implement your own solution, you can see this quick start code. As you can see, for more info, you can visit developer docs. So this quick start code, as an example, include an, an HTML form. So if you wanna have your CAPTCHA or add the CAPTCHA to your HTML website, this of course, as an example, is just a quick start code. You'll basically have to copy that by clicking on here or simply copying it manually by selecting all and clicking Control C or copy or hit the copy option in here and simply drop it on your website and you'll find a CAPTCHA is on your HTML website right away. As an example, HTML, I'll just type HTML and I'll go here. So try HTML code and let's see as an example no need for this copy this code enter that code in here and click on run and as you can see you will have your captcha right here this is as we said it's just a quick start code for you you'll have to go and go through these steps to have your captcha code and of course you can verify on your server with this code once you finish all of those just go and click on continue in here so as an example i am human if you click on it Please click on the objects that differs from others. So as an example, those two projects are not like those projects. So you can go, okay, I can click once. Okay, this is a basketball also, just a different color. So this is the only apple. Of course, you can remove it and choose another option. But of course, we'll have to choose the apple. Then click on next. Of course, if you don't know or something, you can skip it if you want to. So here and click on next. Please click on the object that first from others. Again, I'll click on that apple, which is cut in half, and click on verify. And as you can see, yeah, I am a human. So the CAPTCHA is working, of course. So, of course, you'll have to generate this. We did not generate it, yes. So you'll have to generate it. Please copy the secret as it will not be shown again. Copy it, click on continue, and you will get your, you'll have to click on add sites, add your site, and you will be provided with, of course, your key or your code. The code will be something like that. So, or you can even, I don't know if you can use that code for your specific sites, but you can try it out if you want to. If it's working good, if it's not, you'll have to go through the steps. Uh, that is shown here. So this is going to be it's more for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.